How do you feel? I'm good. You're relaxed from your massage? Nice and relaxed. <laughs> it's really not cold out. No. I'm happy. Yeah. I looked at it was like 40 degrees at home today. So this is one of the fireworks viewing areas for handicap. I don't know how they do it with those fries. It looks extra salty. So bad. Now this is vacation. <laughs> Just me and you in a rainy park. Yeah. You can fish and walk. <laughs> Ooh, that crunch. Mm -hmm. I heard that. Now we're not in a rush. I'm not walking fast. Okay, no, I'm just reminding you. Because I think we have about a half hour plus a 15 minute grace period. We're going to make it. <laughs> Unless you and I die on the way there or break an ankle. <laughs> we're making it. I need some fish. How'd you do it? Just pick it up? Mm -hmm. Wow. Right? Mm hmm. This is where you get poutine. Oh, we'll hit that on the way back. Yeah. Yeah, we currently have food in our hands. You can't, you can't get more food. <sighs> it's early, but this feels busy, but not oppressive. Oh my God. What? No, I don't think it's too busy. Mm -hmm. So today is the day that Magic Kingdom closes at 4. Okay, so we should go to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Why? So no we can leave at 4? Yeah. But we're here. <laughs> yeah, if it stays like this, I am happy. The weather is nice. I will take this. The weather is nice. I like if it rains like this all day, that's fine. It's like a mister. <laughs> Along the sides is the chalk. How does that, what do they do with that when it rains? We'll find out. Yeah, right? I guess it just goes away. They come and paint more. Uh, they could spray it with something. Oh yeah. That's gotta be it. This park has been open for two hours. <laughs> We're going to movies today. Yes. I think it was so crazy. <laughs> I'm happy about it. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. 
I'm happy about this this wide open area that we're walking through. Yeah, okay. This is what I wanted. Yeah, we go this way. Hey Jesse, huh? who's the hottest girl in school? Epcot ball. Who do you think the hottest girl in school is? The Epcot ball? Well, I like Melanie, and not just because she's pretty. I think she's really Epcot. funny. And all. <laughs> every time. <laughs> it's so nonsensical. And every time we do it, my dad's like, what the hell is that? That I have to pull up the video, and he's still just like, I don't. <laughs> I don't understand. It's probably a generational thing. For sure. I mean, it's stupid. This is why I like it. So I can eat all the fries. I know. <laughs> I knew that would happen. Mm. Okay, wait. More room for me to eat other stuff. How are you feeling about Walcott? Walcott? Mm hmm. I like it. I like the design of this one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the building. That's imagination. That's imagination. That's land. That's seas. That's space. And then over there, there's also space. <laughs> it used to be a Walt thing. He was like they did measurements for how long a person would hold on to a piece of trash before throwing it on the ground. And they ended up with ten feet. Yeah, basically. <laughs> they're not wrong. They ended up with exactly where they're all placed. I mean, it should be easy, right? You just look at where the trash is on the ground and put a, put a trash can there. Yeah. That's what I do with the roller coaster if I do, and how it's gonna be different. Yeah. Welcome back. 
back. We've missed you. Oh, thank you. Tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Familiar. Many of these, like papaya, yeah. banana, and they have one that's flowering too. Yeah. Are well known around the world. These are just a few of the animals. I mean, so do we when it's not um, the dead of winter. While others are well adapted to growing in less than identical conditions. Some, like the water lake, thrive in wet, swampy areas and water lake, all part of the world. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually. Oh, yeah. The most bananas. popular fruit in the world. That's cool. The banana. I guess I do just let it come in because, like, with one arm, it's like the real right? Yeah. But still, I would never put my poncho on to ride this ride. Are you kidding? No, that's really cool. I love it. Yum. That's good. Those things are big. Yeah, Yeah, I know, so I had to get him. I saw him moving over there. I was like, oh. Look, there's a Mickey. Mickey? Yeah, Mickey right there. Oh, yeah. It's a big Mickey. It's not quite hidden. Well, yeah. <laughs> Extremely hot pepper, Carolina Reaper. Oh, look at that. Account for nearly two thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these things is an important goal of research around the world. Blue agave. Oh yeah, it's bad. It looks just like aloe. Yeah, it looks like aloe. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields, while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient what film system. This technique precisely mm -hmm. controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year. Last time we were here, they must be using the lettuce because the last time we were here it said 50th in the lettuce. Some of our best ideas have been inspired oh, yeah, by nature, that. like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops they don't have any of the pumpkins. Last look. time they had pumpkins fact, hanging from like vines oh my God. up in the air. It was crazy. From our greenhouses in that was Christmas, so they're the probably all being here. eaten. Yeah. Is that integrated agriculture? The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics Some of these days we should do the, um, the fish the provide a natural source of fertilizer the for the plants. It's, as far as the tours go here, I think it's, it's like 30 bucks. It's not very expensive at all. And they take you through this whole area behind the... Oh, cool. Yeah. It's all about this this uh, land area. I'll take you in that room. I've never done it, but I hear it's really cool. It's so peaceful for the front. <laughs> Yeah, right. Lapping water occasionally. Did you say that? I know, I ruined it. 
These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing Just very important people. I don't know what to tell you. Number one. They're number one. I mean, thank God it is Figment. I need to see Figment up close and personal. You have to. To ensure your safe tour of our century labs, please remain seated with your hands arms and legs inside your tour tram. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Ivy Channing, Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello, on your tour, you'll see how the flying human senses can help capture your imagination. Who is this? Oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Come on, everybody, here we go! Figment, you are not to interfere with the tour. Hello? Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere! But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination! <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought! No, you haven't. It's over here! All aboard! Yeah. 
Luckily, I'm catching this all on film. <laughs> this is my third favorite part of the ride. <laughs> when we're just stopped. When they just decide to be quiet. Our, our trains are too close together. They need to go and then we need to like wait. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. We're not gonna get any uh, audio on this one? Our scene hasn't started yet. Oh, it's a word search. Okay, so they're gonna come and then they're gonna stop there where they sh where we shouldn't have been stopping. Oh, nope. I guess we're not gonna see the scene. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. What the hell? I say imagination must be captured and controlled. Uh huh. Imagination works best when it's set free. Now, as long as we don't get this scene twice, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, right? Yes, come into play. <laughs> I'd love to. Segment, this is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination. So, let the good times roll. Woohoo! You win one Santa. Oh, don't! We'll go to my open house instead. It's much more fun. Right this way, everybody. What is going on? You're turning this entire open house upside down. Upside down? Now you're talking. That's the best idea you've had all day. I've made my house an innovation. Imagination really clowns around. <laughs> Oh my god, our scene's broken too. So, as you can plainly see, imagination works the best that. when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast! Fantastic time. Yeah. <laughs> Except that Figment didn't want to work. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you'll see that video. Yes. And we've been eating lots of food. All of the food. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some poutine, I think. Yeah. Well, it's not raining. Well, it's not raining. Well, it's barely raining. <laughs> Having a great time. 